In the last video we added the remainder of our wolves and in this video we are going to add some ambient sound to the scene. Uh, at the moment the only sound we have in the whole scene is the flap of the dragon's wings uh, which is uh, well it's nice but we need much more. So in order to do then that we are going to use an asset from procedural worlds it's called Ambient Sounds, Interactive Soundscapes. And we're going to start off by adding some... Uh, actually, we won't start off with the sparrows. We'll do that in a moment. This is where the flock of sparrows are. We'll add some sounds there. But let's put some um, background global noise, uh, kind of rustling, not rustling leaves, um, wind mo noise in the background. So I've already imported Ambient Skies, sorry, Ambient Sounds from procedural worlds and um, the first thing that we need to do is create a folder inside of my stuff called sounds and inside of there we will create procedural worlds ambient sounds sequence and we'll call this global background now a sequence of sounds is a set of sounds that will be played one after another sometimes in random order sometimes in the correct order depending on the, in the set order depending on how you set it up um, so we want to add at least one clip to play and in order to find the clips we're going to lock this but then we won't be able to whilst we'll be able to find the clips in here ambient procedural worlds ambient sounds sounds ambient here's a whole bunch of things including this one here which is actually the one i want i can't play it here because i've locked the um inspector tab so a little trick is to right click go to add tab click inspector and you get another one here so i will just drop that there and now i can listen to the ambient sound okay so it's just noise in the background it gets a little bit louder at this point but other than that it's just general noise in the background so now we can drag that noise that sound into here and this little slider is its volume so i don't want it loud i just want it in the background there about 0.3 should be about fine i think once we have that sequence set up, we now need to enable the sounds in the scene. So we go to Procedural Worlds, Ambient Skies, Ambient Sound Manager, and just click Create Ambience Manager. And that's all we need that window for for now. And what that's done is it's found your player in the hierarchy. If there's no player, uh, if there's no object marked player, then it goes to the fly cam or the main camera and here is our ambience manager and just here we can see the global sequence so add space for that go to our sounds sequence drop it in and now when we press play we should be able to hear that sound in the background and there we are we can indeed hear the background sound okay excellent so now over here where our sparrows are flying we want some sparrow sounds if we just wait for there we go uh, we want some sparrow sounds in here and that's really easy to set up as well so we'll go into our birds we'll select our sparrow flock we'll right click we'll say Procedural worlds, ambient sounds, ambi uh, sorry, audio area. And here we now have an area which is defined in our world. Let's uh, first of all set the space that this area will fill. So we want this to appear, or these sounds to appear. Oops, should be about five high if I recall correctly within this space here okay let's have a look is that the right size and height doesn't look it's high enough it looks uh, the right width so maybe it's 10 there we go it's 14 in fact okay and just increase the x a little 
There we go. And around that side, that looks okay. And um, we also can provide a fall off area as well. So inside of that green box, our volume will be at maximum. And if we increase the area around it using the fall offs, it will, as your player enters that fall off area, the volume will gradually increase until it hits um, inside of this area, which will be full volume. Okay, so we're in the tops of the trees and we're in the fly area just above the trees. Looks good to me. So now we need to create a new sound sequence for our sparrows. So right click, create procedural worlds, ambient sounds, sequence. We'll call this sparrows. And we need to create, grab some sparrow sounds. So we're going to lock this so that we can get to our sounds and birds. And we happen to have some sparrow sounds provided as part of the ambient sounds. So let's take a listen to that. Bring up our other inspector. So that sounds pretty good. We'll use that one. And I'm not going to go through each of them individually, but they're all pretty good. So we're going to use them all. And we'll drag those into our list. We don't want them to be um, too loud. Uh, maybe a little louder than the background sound. Oops. Let's go through each of these like so and we don't want them to play in order that would be a bit a bit too predictable so we'll say randomize the order the delay chance is the chance of there being a delay between each of the loops being played and these loops are very very short um, so we do want to delay we don't want a fade time we want to hear the, the full um, sound and the maximum delay can be zero because they can have things come one after the other. Um, sorry, minimum delay zero. And maximum is maybe maybe a second. You can randomize the volume as well. Um, we're not going to do that in this instance. But we are going to come back to this output area. And we're going to select, instead of straight, which would create the sound directly in the um, producer, the, the sound listener, the audio source uh, on the camera, we could go to local position, but we, but uh, we're actually going to go and use uh, player position here, and um, we're going to use the the the, the, the player's position um, to create a sound somewhere within um, a distance and a direction of the player. So anything from one meter to let's say fifteen meters, and anything with a vertical angle, any vertical angle behind, uh, above, below. And, and horizontal in front behind we don't want to follow the position though because we want them to fill that space the, the the audio area that we've got rather than follow the character through so birds aren't going to follow us they're just going to be flying around us um and that is it for the sequence so we now need to go back to our audio area unlock this over here go find our sequence sounds and drop it into our sequence list oh, i have to do that okay and hit play now once we're playing i will fly in towards the sparrows and we should hear the sounds fade in be it the loudest once we're inside of that box that we can see and then fade out as we come out the other side We're starting to hear them here. Okay, so that seemed to work. Now, if you happen to have spatial headphones or speakers on, you may have noticed that we weren't getting any spatial uh, awareness there. We were only getting stereo. There's one more thing that we need to do to enable uh, the spatial awareness, even though we've said do it in a spatial you know, do it in up, down, left, right. Um, if we go to the ambient sounds manager at this point, 
It takes a little while to initialize itself, but once it's come up, we're going to see a warning that we don't have a audio spatializer plugin. Okay, and it says to add one, go to Windows, uh, Plugin Manager, and install Windows Mixed Reality or the Oculus package. Okay, well, I have uh, a HoloLens, so I want the Windows Mixed Reality one. I also have a Windows Mixed Reality headset, which is pretty awesome. Um, so we need to go to Package Manager and we need to search for Mixed Reality, install. There we go, we're now installed. Um, so now if we were to run the scene again, we would get full spatial sound and we can confirm that. Uh, of course, we could confirm it by playing the scene, but to save a little time, we will confirm it by opening the manager and you'll find that that warning should have gone away. Interestingly, it hasn't gone away. Oh, here we go. I haven't selected it. That's why. Microsoft HRTF. There we go. Okay. So now it's gone away. And now we can have uh, spatial sound. I'm not going to go into all the other features of ambient sound. It needs a deeper investigation, deeper set of videos. Um, but it is a very powerful system for creating your, your audio soundscape. And here we have the final rendering of the video. Uh, if you were to watch the whole video through, you would hear all sorts of sounds throughout the whole scene. For example, here you'll hear the warlock and some animals and so on. So uh, we won't go through the whole thing. There is a, a full version of this video available on the YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Uh, but that's how you do ambient sounds. And uh, next up, we'll be looking at how we can add even more richness to the scene.